Black & Decker Workmaid is 30 years old and I do try to keep it clean. Despite this, the surface does show it's 30 years. If I'm painting something, I try to be careful and will put newspaper down if I have it to hand. But you can see from the surface that there have been exceptions to this. I bought a roll of decorator's lining paper and I intend to use this in future. What I need to do first though is design a holder for it so that it's always handy. Because if it's not always handy, I'll take a shortcut and end up painting on an unprotected surface. So this is what I was planning. But I need to make sure that this here stays flat because when it's folded up this is this is the bit that it sits on. And if I add a piece of plywood across the back then it'll still stand up okay and it'll give me some space just there but I've decided that this might be a little bit complicated and a bit unnecessary. So what I'm now thinking is putting it under the um, dog kennel where I store my bench dogs. I think that would be better because it would be out of the way off the floor and it won't be in the way of the workbench um, and it should be quite easy to fit there. So that's my current plan. The design of the bracket that I came up with you can see that I made a mistake, drilled the hole in the wrong place so I had to add a bit of down glue it in but that, that's fine. This little shaft here is where you'll put the dowel that holds the paper roll and then there's a little bit of detail on this side just to follow the contours of the workmate. And I'll show you now whereabouts these go. I've already checked that you can fold the bench up and use the bench in all the all of its different functions without it getting in the way. Now I'll just show you um, a closer view. Twice in the vertical position, changing the paper roll will be really easy. The dowel simply slides up this channel. I can't actually show you the paper roll on the dowel just yet because I need to remove the clamps first. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. The paper is always to hand and if I want to change the roll it's very easy and accessible. So the project's complete. I now have a roll of lining paper that I can use to line my surface, top of my workmate when I'm spraying things. It's worked out really well. If you like this content then please hit, hit the like button and if you want to see more of it then please click subscribe. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.